So it's January 2022 and you're looking for the best browser for your Fire Stick or your Android TV devices. Now this browser needs to have a couple of things working properly. Probably the main one is the ability to download application files or just the ability to download things through that browser. Now you may think this is a basic feature, but if you look at browsers like the Silk browser or Firefox browser on the Amazon Fire Stick, although they are very good browsers, you cannot download anything through them. Now the next thing the browser needs to do is the ability to have complete navigation, complete control, without using any kind of virtual mouse. And as you can see with this browser, I can even simulate scrolling up and down. And the last key thing for streaming is the browser needs to be able to support full HD playback. So whether you're using a streaming website or any other third party website, through the browser, you should be able to watch all of that content in full screen with no issues. So in this video today, let me show you the latest version of this browser, which was only updated a few weeks ago, giving you more features, performance tweaks, and I really do think it's one of the best browsers I've ever used. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you and let's now start the browser for the first time now when you first start the application the first thing i'll ask you is what is your preferred search engine now most of you probably will just go with Google, but if you're a bit more concerned about your privacy, if you don't want Google to monitor your search history or anything like that, you can use DuckDuckGo, which is a great alternative and they don't collect any of your data. So let's go with that one. Click on save. And you can see now guys, just using the standard D-pad on my Fire Stick or really any device, you can navigate through the browser. Now to access the top menu, if I press the back button, I can now go to the top and for example, I can now navigate over to settings, which is the cogwheel. Let's click on that. Now, a couple of things you want to check in here. Now, probably the first one is the user agent string. So what this basically means is when your browser makes a connection to any website, many of them check to see what kind of device is accessing. Is it a mobile browser? Is it a tablet? Is it an Android TV device? And depending on that user agent string, they may slightly alter or shape their content in a particular way. So you can leave the default as TV bro, but if you do find certain websites are not working properly or you're not seeing the content as it should, come in here and probably the most compatible is going for Chrome desktop. Let's leave that as is. Let's go to the top. Let's go to shortcuts. And here, for example, you can set short codes or shortcuts to the different functions like navigating back or going to home or using voice search, but I want to leave mine as blank. Now if we go to the version updates, you can confirm this is the latest release as of January, which is 1.7.1. .1. Now, for example, here we can see, I can add this page as a favorite. I can type in a URL. I can press down on the remote. This shows me the current tab. If I now press left, we can see that I have the option to create a new tab. So I can click on that now. Now we can see some of the other websites that I've previously visited. Now let's say, for example, I want to go to a new site and let's press back on the remote. I can now go to the top and I can now use my voice and say, Google types that in, click on next. And this will now do a Google search for that term. So very easy to navigate and search for content. I can press back on the remote. Let's say for example, I'm looking for a APK mirror. So I'm type in APK. If you don't want to use your voice, click on next. I can now click on this site here, just to show you that we can also fully download any application from any website. Click on download. And the application file is now being downloaded directly through TV Bro onto my device. And we can see it's gonna be stored in the download folder. So downloads works, no problem. Downloading applications, no problem. And even if you guys are still here with me then, if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag bro, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. So here we can see we're still inside the APK mirror tab. If I press right on the remote, we can see I'm back to my website. And just that fluidity we can see, it really is a, a very fast browser. Now, if I go over to Pluto TV, click on that. And this was actually the full screen video that I was watching before. I think it was some uh, haunted house program, but 
just to show you once again that if you do want to use your browser to watch streaming content, this application will be able to play back HD video in the browser with no issues whatsoever. And that's working absolutely fine. Let's back out of that. If you want to add any pages your favorites, click on the star icon. You can give it a name, click on add, and that's now added into your favorites. So the next time you press the back button on the remote, you can click on this and this shows you your favorites. So let's also add this page. So click on the star, click on add. There's APK mirror and click on done. So now we have two pages in the favorites, APK mirror and also my website. And anytime you want to access them, just press back on the remote, click on the star at the top, and you can now choose your bookmark. So very, very easy to create and quick way for you to get back to your favorite websites or favorite pages. And that's working great. So overall guys, very, very easy browser to use. Doesn't need any mouse toggle, works great on the Fire Stick and all of your Android TV devices, fully supports downloading and it really is a joy to use. So, okay, so to get this browser on your device, just head over to My Fire TV Inside Settings, click on Developer Options and just make sure you've got both these options set to on. Once you've done that, let's now press the home key and let's open up Downloader and we're going to make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com or you can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go or just press the play button on your remote. Now, when you get to my website, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines, click on that and then click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can get the TV Pro browser on your Fire Stick or really any device. So let's open that up. Now the key benefits of this browser is firstly it supports tab browsing. So as I will demonstrate in just a second, you can have one tab open for your favorite download site. You can have another tab open where you're watching some live TV and you can have another tab open where you're browsing some social media. The browser also supports voice search. You don't need to use any kind of mouse toggle. And as you saw, you can play full screen HD video without any kind of stuttering or buffering or any issues like that. So here we can see the browser here. Some of the features, so again, yep, supports voice search, supports bookmarks, obviously. Of course, you can download with the browser, so it has a built-in download manager. And of course, you can create shortcuts and go through your browser history. Now, let's just scroll down. And here we can see the latest version, which is 1.7.1 .1 as of January 2022. Let's click on that, scroll down, and you want to click on this green download button. And this will download the application directly onto your device. That's now all done. I can click on done. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are always asking for the best alternative to Downloader or another alternative to Puffin Browser on your Android TVs. I do think this application, the fact that it's totally free, works really well across all of those devices, is definitely worthwhile checking out. So please do subscribe, hit the notification bell with all notifications, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.